Good morning and welcome to Law. Yeah, it's amazing to be back at Lords. You, you walk in here and you feel the history straight away. Um, I came and did a Lords tour when I was about 10 years old, I think it was. Um, and yeah, it feels like, you know, what I imagine Augusta is to golf. You walk here and you feel the history and it's always in beautiful conditions and we love coming here. We love the Lords lunches. It's always a highlight, gets plenty of conversation. Um, so it's all set up for a great week. Quite emotional actually because it's, it's, it's quite something and for me uh, with all my travails through uh, where I started and where I've got to, um, a pretty cool thing to do so uh, uh, it's just another one of those um, experiences in life that uh, I feel incredibly privileged to have been able to do and achieve. Please welcome your ITC match officials and the two teams, Australia and England. Uh, there's the first ball that's been bowled and uh, Australia are batting. Uh, I don't see this test match being a long test match. It's a green wicket, it's overcast conditions. Uh, but that being said, um, maybe it'll swing too much and it'll do too much to catch the nick. But from an Englishman's perspective, you want Australia to be knocked out and or knocked over and rolled for 100 today. It's a deeply emotional experience for me and my boys to be here. Such a great opportunity for us to remember Ruth and everything she stood for. And then of course, uh, it warms the soul that we're able to offer some sort of comfort for those families that are going through exactly the same awful ordeal that we did. Um, so it's a special day for us. It's a big day for the foundation, obviously. And hopefully it adds to the cricket as well and makes it a, you know, a, a really special sort of vibrant feeling uh, to proceedings.
Jesse Smith's 32nd Test Match Century of his career. 294 minutes, 169 balls and 14 fours. Sport is entertainment and that's really important and, and they're making this really entertaining. I love the way they're playing, it's kind of free-flowing and um, adventurous, love it. Yeah, it's always nice to, to get on the honours board up here, obviously the home of cricket, um, place I love playing, I love batting out in the middle, so yeah, nice to score a few yesterday and get myself up on the board again. It's a wonderful place to play, um, you know, the wicket out there, I think if you, if you get yourself in, you get great value for your shots, particularly hitting the ball down the slope, so no, I've enjoyed my time here and uh, yeah, hopefully a few more in the second innings. Day three, moving day as they say, uh, the first two hours today is very important to both teams, so if Australia can get a couple of wickets, it'll uh, give them the upper hand. If England can get through this session, um, at the rate that they score, Australia could well be in a bit of trouble. Sure. Good morning and welcome to Lord. I want it to be a good competition for as long as possible. Um, it would be amazing to see England get those runs. I, with you know, it's possible, but I'm not going to make any predictions because there's no point in making predictions about this England team, particularly not when we've got Ben Stokes playing.